Under Bill's leadership, we are united. We are disciplined. We take nothing for granted. And we are bold. It was Bill Shorten who prioritised health and education over tax cuts for multinationals and millionaires. The Liberals criticised Bill for his past as a union leader. Well, I tell you what, I will take a union leader over a failed ad man every time. It's Sam Crosby, our tireless candidate for Reid, and the candidate who's been in the competition for Reid the longest, keeps telling me the main building at Concord was completed back in 1941. Now, you don't need to be a brain surgeon to know this. However, it just so happens that our candidate Ben Along is a brain surgeon. This is what Labor's $2.8 billion Better Hospitals Fund will mean for communities right around Australia. Better care. The most significant expansion of Medicare since Labor created it. A vote for Labor on May the 18th will see a 2.3 billion dollar investment to virtually eliminate out-of-pocket costs for our fellow Australians battling cancer. And the cancer medication that you need will be funded by the PBS. My view is simple and Labor's promise is straightforward. If you are in the fight of your life, if someone you love is in the fight of their life, it should not matter whether you live in the city or the bush. It should not matter your postcode or your personal wealth. Under Labor, there is only one thing that matters. There is only one thing you will need. Your Medicare card. Because we respect the Australian people and we trust them to put forward our ideas, we've made genuine long-term reform decisions. We have a plan to pay for our priorities, to pay for the choices. We're going to make multinationals pay their fair share of tax in Australia. And we are going to end the intergenerational bias in our tax system, reforming the subsidies that advantage property investors over our young first home buyers.